What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. We got a fun unboxing we're gonna be doing today for you. This is one that came in from the pass around group that I'm a part of, so I'm excited to dive into this and see what it is. I think I know what's in here, but I'm not 100% sure. Before we get too far into this, I want to say thank you to anybody who's already liked and subscribed. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below or the little logo in the corner. That'll subscribe you to our channel. Hit the bell. That lets you know when we put out new videos so y'all can see what we're doing and all that fun stuff. You can also head over to Instagram and follow us at WorkKnifeBalance939, and then that'll let you know when we post stuff over there. It's a great way to contact us, and... If you want to send us a sweet knife, we'll send you a cool sticker back after we're done with it. So I'm going to be using the Wii Screech as our opening video box to your opening knife today. This is one of my favorite knives. It's not one that I think got a lot of attention when it first came out. It's a butch ball design knife, but I really love it. So, all right. I think we got all of the taped in. And stickers for days. So these are stickers from people who have already seen the knife and it's been passed around. We've got JD for EDC, Lefty who kind of runs the pass around, uh, traditional pocket knives, and a couple other JD stickers. So that is pretty awesome. I'll go ahead and add my stickers to the box when I pass it right along. Um, I believe this is just a cleaning cloth. Yeah, it's a silk handkerchief. Uh, Cavol sends those with their knives, I think, um, unless they're just sending one with all the knives to the pass around group for Lefty to send out there, so. And I don't know how to, is it Cavol? 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 But, so this is a Cavol knife, Cavol knife. This is going to be, now we'll see once we get it in here. No sticker on the outside there. There it is. So here's the explosion diagram. Shows you everything in there for it. So that is, flipping that around, showing you the M390 blade, the bearings, the spacers, how it's all put together and everything. The diagram, blueprint for this knife. So that is kind of cool that they send that along with it. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. This is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. By no means is it a big knife. But it's definitely, ooh. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay, there you go. So there it is right there. They put all their information on the blade in that inset right there. So that is the Shimo. This is the Steel M390, and this one came out in 22 of November. So November, 2022. So we're under a year for this one right here. looks like you got a front flipper. You can definitely get up and bick that one as well. Um, you can kind of flip it over with the finger there and then you can use this hole for deployment for that reverse flick as well. That action is fantastic. That like front flip, bick flip right there is so nice. That is so easy and really good to get through. I like this guy. This is pretty sweet. I love the coating or the ceramic I guess that they put on the blade for here it kind of mats it a little bit it's not a bead blasted I believe it is a ceramic coat that they put on the blade and um, I could be wrong I'll go ahead and link this knife down below I don't know how much this is but uh, Cavill doesn't make cheap knives I will say that so these are going to be I'm gonna assume 200 bucks um, at minimum for this uh, maybe less hopefully less but yeah i'm gonna assume it's gonna be around 200 bucks but we'll go ahead and put that below when we do it i am noticing as i do this just the way my fingers sit when i do that bick this middle finger right here hits it and that's that is that is a sharp edge on that pocket clip right there so those are a little that line on that side right there is is pretty pointy and these corners are pretty pointy so doing holding it for that front flip you can feel those sharp edges right there and that's not the most comfortable but doing a reverse flick you've got no problem you don't feel it and in hand for the ergos i think because i'm not pushing on those corners you don't feel it there's no like hot spots feeling it there or anything it's just kind of when i hold it for that reverse flick the way my finger fits it gets a little sharp right there so all right let's go ahead and do some overall comparisons and measurements and stuff real quick while we got this out Tip to tail, we're looking about six and a quarter inch for the overall length. Blade length, we're looking 
at about 2.75 with about 2.6 on the cutting edge. You've got a really deep Tonto blade there. I actually, I really like this blade. I'm not a huge fan. I don't seek out Tonto, Tanto blades um, personally, but uh, there are some that I just really like, and uh, this one would probably fall into that category. I think it's it all depends on the design and the shape of the knife. I like angles and I like symmetry. So the fact that you've got this deep angle here and a deep angle on the backside to me makes this knife way more appealing um, rather than like a Tonto with a flat end and then kind of round it off. I, I like symmetry and angles. So those lines like that really bring the aesthetics to me for this knife right here. There is a, it looks like it's ground down a little bit chamfered some so you can have access to the lock not a ton um and that could just be the angle i'm looking at it because sometimes it looks like it is and sometimes it looks like it isn't too looks like there's some skeletonization on the inside oh and if you can see it and they put the cavil right in there too that's kind of cool um to add weight reduction i'm assuming and everything going on with that so yeah we'll go ahead and bring some comparisons this is a small knife so these comparisons might look massive We'll go ahead and put the Ontario Rat 1 up above. Definitely a bigger knife. And then the Ontario Rat 2 down below. So it's going to be smaller than that Rat 2 even. Really, really, really compact knife. Um, in that, like, what did we say? Six and a half or six and a quarter for the overall length. So it's not necessarily going to be something that is going to be a workhorse, in my opinion, in that size. But it will be something that is really nice to carry in pocket because it's probably a lot lighter than some of these other knives. Go ahead and pull out the Spyderco, pair of two and pair of three. Show those right there. So if you've got any of those four knives, that gives you a good comparison on what you can kind of compare these knives to, what you can compare this knife to, and kind of see how it feels and, and what it's gonna look like. Uh, yeah. I will say that I really like some of the detail that they added. So the way that they've lipped this, for that front flip right there your thumb just fits right in there and then easily just pushes over there's almost no effort this is probably one of if not the easiest front flip that i've ever had my hands on especially with that big flip right there and if for those of you who've been following my channel i haven't been doing this very long but i'm i'm new to front flippers and i'm not the most advanced so the fact that i can do this right off the bat with some of these knives is super lets me know that they're very user friendly when it comes to a front flip and that's something that i like to see um, because not everyone's going to be as excited about it so if you really like the knife and you want to be able to use all the deployment methods something that makes it user friendly like that is is really good it looks like we've got some chamfering along the edges up top and then down here just kind of bring that pocket edge over too and then definitely some chamfering there in the access to the lock and then on the top of it as well you've got some really cool detail we saw this on their other knife that we looked at a while ago too so i don't know if that's their logo it might be it looks like it might be so those like horns i don't know looks like you've got the same kind of loopy pattern um going around the edge i don't know if that's necessarily their logo or just kind of like reminiscent of it bringing it together there but that i believe is the logo Right there, but or maybe that's this knife's insignia. Not sure. Yeah, really like it. I love the feel. Really nice backspacer. I think it would be cool if this backspacer had a little bit of jimping. One of my newer knives that I really like, the Riff Raff. I really love the way he did the jimping on this. It's kind of, I don't know. It looks almost like uh, spines, like spike spines from like a dinosaur or something. I guess I don't know. I like that a lot versus the traditional jimping. That would look really cool right here, and it would kind of fit the like logo and look to this knife as well, I think. So that would be pretty cool. But those are all just aesthetic small things, nothing big. Um, I love the simplicity of this knife. You have no hardware whatsoever on the show side. It looks like one solid piece coming together. So the way that they put this with these two screwing through the backspacer into this side, that's really cool. It makes this knife just that much more appealing. It looks like a solid piece, even though it is three pieces, the two uh, sides and the backspacer there. 
Um, and then when you go to the other side, the frame side, the lock side, you only have these two hardware pieces because you've got hidden hardware for the lock or for the clip in here. There's a milled titanium clip. You get good action with it too. So that's really nice. There was a lot of detail into this knife, making it as sleek and simple as it is here. But I mean, it looks fantastic. You can see some of the edge or some of the lines here. It's almost like a hand rub satin finish, um, but you can see some of the striation lines there as it finishes through. This is a beautiful knife. This is an absolutely beautiful knife. So I'm, I am curious what these go for. I will, like I said, put the link below. If this is anywhere under 250, and I'm hoping it's closer to 200, I will probably be picking one of these up as an early Father's Day present for myself um, and then just tell my wife, hey, this is what I bought. Thank you. <laughs> That's probably not the best idea, but we'll see how it goes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I don't have much else to say about this. I'm really liking this knife. I will be passing this back on um, to someone else. So go ahead and check out some of the other videos with this as well. See all the reviews and all of the opinions on it. It is in my opinion, a really good knife and I really like it. And I'm doing that flick, that top flick to see how more and more to see how much this annoys me. It's not, the more I do it, the more I'm finding like finger placement. Like I can do it with only these two and be fine. So if I keep those fingers off, I don't have that hot spot. I don't have that pinch point there. Uh, but how do I naturally grab it to flick? I don't really feel it when I do that either because I think that middle finger doesn't come all the way over to touch it, but yeah. All right, this is the Cavill Shimo and it is absolutely fantastic. Really loving this knife. Go ahead and check it out. Um, feel free to hit that link below. It will not be an affiliate link, so it doesn't support our channel. It's just gonna be a link to their website where you can check stuff out. And I don't have any codes or anything for their website. So check out all the knives there. They've got some really cool front flippers. I was on their website last time. The way they have their knives laid out and everything is really cool. Love this knife. The jimping that they add to the front, the jimping they add to the flipper, the swedges that they have on the top here, not necessarily a crown spine, but a really nice swedge to it. Comes in really, really centered. This thing is dead nuts awesome. Yeah, really loving it. All right, I'm rambling now, and uh, I really did this video to get my mind off of work later today because I got a big interview. So wish me luck. <laughs> Let me know what you're carrying, and uh, until next time, TTFN.